Evan Russell, a devastated young man who lost his father to a heart attack, is now caring for his ailing mother, who was diagnosed with cancer months later. When Evan checks on his mother one night, she wonders how he's doing and even tells him a joke in the hopes of making him laugh. Evan smiles, but then notices she isn't breathing while still staring at him, prompting him to cry and say his final goodbyes to her, even though it's too late. The next day, after his mother's funeral, Evan grieves with his soul friend, Tommy, in the restaurant where he works. Evan excuses himself from his companion as a drunk man taunts him, accusing him of attempting to hit his girlfriend. Tommy tries to placate the inebriated man by offering him a cigarette, but the drunken man grabs an empty bottle and attempts to hit Tommy's skull. Evan then savagely smashes him to the ground, costing him his job. Despite his requests not to be fired, he is disregarded, although a friendly coworker promises to encourage the supervisor to reconsider his decision. That evening, Evan decides to go home with Tommy to continue drinking and weeping for his mother's death and loss of employment. While discussing his ideas, they find the inebriated man followed them home. The man threatens to seek charges against Evan, especially since he knows where he lives. Evan considers leaving the city since he is afraid of being sued or attacked in the future and he does not have a job or family. Tommy pushes him to spend the night with a girl, and despite his initial reservations, he ends up with a blonde woman. However, the woman leaves after learning that Evan has no love feelings for her despite everything they'd been through. After a long period of intoxication, Evan is awakened by knocks on his door, and as he looks out the window, he sees the cops. The cops leave, thinking there is no one at home. Evan then takes advantage of his chance to depart by arranging a blind flight to Italy. When Evan arrives in Italy, he drinks with and befriends two nice drinkers called Tom and Sam, who both consume pot. Evan's life is serene for the following several days as he takes in the lovely countryside while on a road trip with his new pals. When Evan and his pals arrive in a nearby town, he observes a stunningly attractive young woman named Louise, who also looks at him, developing an instant bond. Later that day, while hanging out with his pals at a nearby tavern, Evan encounters Luis again and chooses to introduce himself. However, she rushes him and invites him to leave his buddies and drink with her instead. Evan is astonished and excited by her sudden interest in him, but he maintains his composure and invites her out tomorrow night. Luis abandons him at the counter bar, prompting his buddies to taunt him. The next morning, Tom and Sam decide to travel to Amsterdam and invite Evan to join them, but he declines, explaining that he would remain in Italy in search of a new beginning. Later that day, Evan walks about town looking for a job and a place to stay until he stumbles across a brochure for a local farm that gives a room in exchange for employment. He then visits the local farm and meets the owner, Angelo, who immediately hires him and shows him the space. Evan immediately befriends his boss by casually asking about Angelo's wife, who died in a car accident. Evan then wanders down an alley and runs across Luis again, taking advantage of the opportunity to ask her out after she initially declines. As Luis enters an art museum, Evan follows her, and they continue to converse as if they had known each other for months. Inside the museum, Evan discovers that Luis is a student studying evolutionary genetics for pay. They come upon a painting of a naked woman, and Luis asks Evan what he thinks of it, to which he replies that she looks sexy. Avon, feeling uninterested, invites Luis out to dinner at a restaurant. That night, they go out to dinner and get to know each other further. Avon discovers that Luis has traveled the world and dated a variety of guys, none of whom she can manage. He humorously writes her a love letter, which she had requested he write for her before they could acquire a bottle of wine, and when she reads it, she smiles. While they sip wine, Evan tells Luis about himself, and she compliments him on doing new things in Italy despite his lack of confidence. A little later, they head to a balcony near the beach and enjoy one other's company. Louise admits that she struggles to believe in God and that there is much mystery in the world, including herself. She tells him she's half undiscovered science with a lot of difficult biochemistry and wild hormones, which Evan finds puzzling and then tells her an amusing anecdote, prompting him to kiss her. They kiss on the way to a motel before finally entering the room and having intercourse. Evan pulls out a condom, but she snatches it away before they begin. At midnight, Louise awakens as a monster and flees the motel, devouring a cat along the way. She transforms into an unknown species and even burns her skin in the sun, but she uses medication to delay the process and maintains her human appearance. Evan, on the other hand, wakes up alone and walks into the local farm to begin his day at work, guided patiently by Angelo. Later that day, after work, Evan goes for a brief walk, expecting to see Luis again. Fortunately, they live in a tiny town, and he quickly meets Luis at a nearby store. Luis plays a joke on him, pretending she has no idea who he is. 
Evan begins to mistrust the night they spend together until Luis unexpectedly chuckles and comforts him. They spend the afternoon together, walking around the alleys, eating gelato and enjoying each other's company. Later that night, Louise asks Evan to her apartment. While Louise prepares their meal, Evan questions her about her profession while playing with her rabbits, who she saved from the laboratory experiment. When Evan decides to play music, he discovers that Louise can converse in multiple languages because her phone contains many multilingual tunes. As Louise joins Evan on the couch, she steals his cigarette, telling him to quit and prompting him to brand her a hypocrite. However, when Louise stands to check on their lunch, she realizes that she is transforming again. She asks Evan to look after their food while she showers. Inside the bathroom, she begins her terrible transition into a terrifying monster. Her vertebral column stretches and her skin is covered in hair, which explains why she is surrounded by scientific texts and charts. After the small transition, she regulates it with her medication, stopping her from completely shifting. However, Evan finishes the soup and the two of them enjoy dinner together. Evan invites her to go to the beach with him, but she declines, explaining her skin problem. Evan then understands they'll see each other at night. The next day, Evan awakens to find Luis on the couch beside him. She kisses her farewell and tells her she has to work. When he goes to the restroom to pee, he sees a siren on the floor, which leads him to question her. The following day, while working with Angelo, Evan learns a lot about farming. They have a cordial discussion about women, during which Angelo claims that Italian ladies are the best, to which even counters that there are many beautiful women in the United States as well. Evan also admits to dating someone he finds weird at times. Later that day, Evan and Louise eat supper at a local restaurant when Evan unexpectedly confronts Louise about the syringe. She says that she uses it to inject herself with medication and tells him that she is not a junkie or has any STD. Evan is reassured and asks if he may take a picture of her with his phone. When she asks about his family, he becomes upset and refuses to discuss it with her, directing the waiter's attention to take a picture of them. Luis appears uneasy about taking a photograph, attempting to avoid staring at the camera. The vision shows a fuzzy snapshot of them, and Luis asks him about his family. He still refuses to share, and just as he is ready to photograph her with his phone, Luis walks out and heads to the neighboring beach. An argument erupts as Luis believes he would brag about banging a foreign lady to his friends and that he cannot be intimate while she just inquires about his family. Evan subsequently reveals that his mother died of cancer last week, just after his father died. Evan also tells her that he felt worthless because he couldn't help his family and that he was wasting his life. Louise brings out that he shares Batman's past to lighten the mood and even admits that she likes him. Louise then tells Evan that she has two different eye colors, which she conceals with contact lenses to make herself appear more appealing. He challenges her honesty, but she says she has never lied to him. The next day, when Evan is amazed by a hybrid tree that produces lemons and oranges at the same time, Louise realizes that, despite her treatments, her mutation is growing uncontrollable. She then walks into a cave while slowly converting and performs a peculiar ceremony to stop the process by drawing symbols on the walls with rabbit's blood, but it does not appear to work. She ends up devouring the rabbit, which allows her to keep her human shape after some shredding. That night, Evan pays Luis a visit in her apartment as usual, but he finds her sick and exhausted and tries to cheer her up. He remains for a while to care for her. One morning, Angelo offers Evan a break. He then offers Angelo to go fishing, but Angelo declines because he has other commitments. Evan then spends the majority of the morning alone, walking about the town. He notices an American guy creating a disturbance along the shore, and Evan decides to do something for Louise. He goes to the art gallery and buys a book in which he writes letters to her. Louise then shows up and invites him to a secret location. That day, when Evan rows the boat, Louise sings aloud, as no one appears to hear her. They kayak into a grotto filled with crystal pure water. The two appear to get closer by the day, kissing under the tunnel and joking about. They eat dinner later, but Louise's skin condition worsens, and she leaves abruptly, saying him she has to work early tomorrow. On her walk home, a man sees her in pain, stalks her, and attempts to molest her, believing she is intoxicated. However, as he prepares to shove himself into her, she transforms into a beast and kills him instantaneously. The next day, Angelo draws Evan aside for a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. As they talk, Evan sees how much Angelo adores his late wife, who refuses to date a single woman at church. Angelo, on the other hand, congratulates him on becoming fluent in Italian and advises him to stay safe because Evan is working as an illegal immigrant and the cops will be after him soon. Evan visits Luis's residence since he has nowhere else to go, but he finds her scared. She tells him to leave and forget about her because she wants to focus on her work without distractions, but the fact is that she is concerned for his safety from her terrible alter ego.
Evan tries to persuade her otherwise, telling her that he is willing to give her time and space if she so desires, but Luis remains firm in her decision. Evan is heartbroken because he cannot believe Luis is abruptly kicking him out. Before leaving, he says his final words to her, declaring his love even though they only met five days before. Evan pleads to reconsider her decision. He unwillingly departs, bruising his hand while striking a brick wall on his way out. Evan returns to her the next day, upset and inebriated, hoping Louise did not mean what she said. When he hears noises inside and sees blood on the floor, he forces the door open and discovers her in a corrupt state of mutation, transformed into a tentacled reptilian monstrosity, much to his horror. As Evan struggles to comprehend the situation, he watches Luis grabbing for a syringe, so the panicked man frantically administers an injection. As soon as Luis returns to her human form, she requests that Evan prepare a shower for her. Evan confronts her and asks if she is a werewolf, vampire, witch, or alien, and she explains her condition to him. When she refuses to explain it to him, he rushes away, but Luis pursues him, explaining that she is a 2,000-year-old mutant and displaying the artwork she posed for thousands of years ago. Luis reveals that she is pregnant and the embryonic cells cure her and keep her age, but once pregnant, Luis transforms into a new body, which must occur every 20 years. Even, on the other hand, understands that Luis exploited him to get pregnant and subsequently rejects him, but Luis claims that she had to emotionally damage him in order to physically protect him from herself. He then asks about her meds, to which she says she uses adult stem cells from other living organisms, such as her bunnies. Even leaves to clear his mind, feeling overwhelmed, manipulated, and deceived. He tries calling Tommy for advice but receives no response. When Evan sees Angelo praying for his ex-wife, he understands how much he cares about Luis. After calming down, Evan rejoins Luis and assures her that, despite everything, he wants to remain with her. Luis then reveals that if she falls in love with someone, her body will generate a chemical that prevents her from morphing, resulting in her loss of immortality. He asks whether she is willing to give up her immortality for him, but Luis refuses, claiming that she will become someone else in less than 24 hours. Avon then persuades her to take one last road trip before re-evolving. She still refuses, stating that she has no control over the transformation. However, when the immigration police arrive, she changes her mind and helps him escape. They ride in Louise's automobile and leave town. They headed off for Naples and spent the entire night conversing. The next day, they continue to talk and kiss as they treasure the remaining moments. Avon occasionally tries to persuade her to choose him over immortality, to which Louise responds with kisses until Evan admits that he has never visited a church. The two enter the church and discuss science and religion when Louise suddenly begins to morph in weird but entertaining ways, such that the person in front of them mistook her for a zombie doing a heroin shot. A bit later, they go to a museum. It turns out that Luis has been posing for paintings for many years, and the portrait in Italy was her first human form. They then go into a building that used to be a bomb shelter during World War II, where Evan asks her about her health and promises her that if she stays with him, he will quit smoking as well. Luis informs him of the repercussions of sticking with him, and he expresses his concerns. Louise then transforms into a monster at random. With the final picture, she warns Evan to move away from her before it's too late. However, Evan insists on remaining with her. In the early morning, as she nears her re-evolution, she brings him to Pompey's ruins, where Louise tells him about her family history, which was destroyed by a volcanic eruption. Her voice returns to its original tone as she confesses that she received her unique ability from her mother and that her pain threshold was still developing at the time, allowing her to survive the lava. Louise informs Evan that she does not want to die or watch somebody die, thus she chooses to live in different bodies every 20 years rather than stay with someone. Evan then understands why she does not want to be with him and promises her that he will miss Louise. She grows increasingly scared of the creature she may transform into, knowing that she has the potential to kill Evan, so she hands him a bottle of wine as a weapon and encourages him to run for his life if things worsen. As the time arrives, Evan makes one final attempt to beg Louise, promising her that becoming mortal is good and that she will no longer be lonely. Louise sits down on his lap, asking him to elaborate on a limited time. Even, afraid and shattered, narrates his environment, experiences, and the wonderful sides of human life. While his voice stutters from hearing the hideous sounds of her change, he refuses to look at her and continues to speak. However, when the morning rises, Evan summons the bravery to gaze at Louise, and he notices that she has retained her human appearance while remaining calm and determined.
she clasps his hands and gazes at him with complete admiration. Toward the end, when Evan understands that she will lose Louise, he is also certain that his life will end because he will not abandon her. However, Louise opted to remain with him, sacrificing her immortality. So what did you think of this movie? Leave it in the comments below, and if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe for more movie recaps. See you in the next video.